what's going on it's amp from tampa now in previous videos i showed y'all that i had moved and i showed y'all my closet now this is how my closet looked once i first moved in and i just put the things in there just to have you know things kind of in place but i need to get this thing organized you know up to my speed in the way that i like things so as most of y'all probably already know ikea is one of my favorite stores and i've seen the wooden hangers they had for 4.99 as you can see they usually eight ninety nine. A great store where you can get things for your home, you know, at a very decent price. If you ever look at those, you know, beautiful homes is what I call those large homes. You know, people that really have style in the way they do things when they hang up their clothes and things, they use those wooden hangers. So as I went through Ikea, I seen that they had not only the wooden ones, but they had them in white and in black. And if you know how I'm doing the place i'm pretty much getting more into white so you know a lot of the things i want to have accented in white this time so if you've seen the last place it was a lot of you know black where the consoles were black and a lot of things that i had uh were black but this time we're gonna do white the place is painted like a a, a lighter gray so we're gonna go with white now once i got these hangers home i purchased probably about six seven or eight uh different packets because i want to have more than enough and when I got here, I completely went to work. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, I already had my shoe, shoe containers in the places that I wanted those. And then I just began to take down the pants side. So when you think about it, you would think, oh, they're wooden hangers. They're going to take up a lot of space. They didn't. The closet kind of seemed a little tacky to me simply because I had different type of hangers on the shirts, different type of hangers on the pants. And I'm like, nah, I need to organize this up to my speed. Um, the hangers were really, really sturdy. You know, it's a pretty thick wood. Uh, I got them from, y'all know it's Ikea, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of the things that they sell are very reasonable and they are good quality. I get a lot of things from there and I would recommend anyone that's trying to do things in your home, whether it be on, you know, your closet or trying to decorate, you can get a lot of things from Ikea on a budget. So the first thing that I want to do, uh, I want to go ahead and get all of the, you know, pants on the wooden hangers on one side. I have them separated. You know, I try to be a little organized with it. I have the pants on one side, the shirts on another side. I also had uh, some clear containers because if you've seen the closet, um, there is a photo at the beginning of the video. And I should have one on my page as well in the post of when I originally put the closet together the there were boxes at the top of the closet and i'm like you know what the boxes i had for a while you know they're just a lot of memories of myself and caleb we were younger um just from a long time ago things that i won't get rid of and i felt like you know there's a, a better way to organize these so i went and bought um plastic containers from ikea just to give it uh, a better look when I completed the closet. So they had them in all sizes. They had them in large. They had them in medium size. And of course, those were reasonably priced as well. Now, I got to, after I finished the pants, I got to the shirts. And of course, I took those one by one, taking the wooden hangers off. To be honest with you, this took me a little time. I'm not even going to lie to you. It took me a little time, but it wasn't terrible. You know what I'm saying? I would say I was actually excited because I wanted to see how this was going to turn out. I thought that the wooden hangers probably would take up too much space or that they would be too heavy and everything wouldn't fit. Believe it or not, I actually purchased more hangers than what I needed and everything actually came together perfectly. Now, once this was done, I needed to get rid of all of the the wire hangers, pretty much the ones that uh, the, the hangers that came from the cleaners as well, that the pants are usually on. I took all of those and I took those to the dump. Now, the ones that were plastic, a lot of those I did hold on to those. I would like to change all of them out to wood in the future. But I did hang on to a lot of the plastic ones uh, in Caleb's closet just in case we need to hang up a few things. Now, I haven't changed everything to the wooden hangers, but I would like to in the future. So again, I did keep one pack of them, you know, just for, you know, me purchasing new items, new pants, new shirts. I would still have some to go ahead and put on those hangers without, you know, mixing it up and making it look tacky. So me and Caleb took those out to the dump 
and I came back in because I wanted to completely organize the plastic containers. Now, prior to me putting these items in plastic containers, they were all in like boxes, you know, those Xerox boxes that you get from your jobs and things. And I had those boxes and then shoe boxes for years. So putting everything in the plastic containers, I felt like it would give the closet a much better look. So I got the plastic containers and then I put everything in here the way that I wanted to. It took me a while to go through everything because, you know, there's a lot of important things that I wanted to keep. I just wanted it organized. So I did get everything in each container how I wanted it to. And I felt like it kind of matched up because as you can see, the, the middle shelf that has the shoes on it was kind of like a clear plastic. And then the plastic containers in there with everything being organized and then the hangers were all white. I felt like I had some type of, you know, a little bit of an elegant look, you know, a, a whole lot of organization. Uh, but when I was done with everything, I feel like it came out really, really well. Now, once again, I thank everybody for staying tuned to my channel and watching things that I do as a single dad. Uh, again, I went to Ikea for a lot of these things and I use them a lot for my home. If you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions or you like what I do or you think I should do something different in here, let me know in the comments. Again, I'm Amp from Tampa. Thank y'all so much for staying tuned. I hope you enjoyed the video and come back for some more.